Okay, I'm going to welcome everybody to another Sight and Sound webinar. Uh, we're delighted to be back with you for week number two. For those of you who were here last week, we looked at the Braille Sense Polaris, um, which is a product for, of course, blind users, um, very powerful product in the classroom. And uh, today we're looking at ZoomText Mag Reader with Sam Coulson who works with Sight and Sound in North England and Scotland. And because I'm from Ireland and have no geography of the UK, yesterday we were doing another webinar and I introduced Sam as being from Leeds, but he's from Hull. So he's not from Leeds and he's in Hull today. Um, so today's session, as I say, is going to be about Zoom text. If you have questions and comments, we'd have plenty of time to take them and they're more than welcome. I'd suggest that you would either write them in the Q and A in the Q and A uh, area on your screen. There's a question and answer uh, button that you can access, or you can raise your hand if you have a question, and we will um, unmute you when we come to the questions and answers. Though there will be um, there will be natural points within Sam's presentation uh, when we get to that point, and we the presentation the whole session I think will take about an hour. And just a flag for you: next week's webinar at the same time next Thursday, we're going to be talking about Jaws, the screen reader and some of the features and functions that may be of particular use in the classroom. So if you want to register for that, there'll be a link on the QTVI forum, I do believe, tomorrow. So that's all I have to say. Uh, the, the, um, the main man is here today, and that's Sam. So Sam, the floor is yours. Brilliant. Thank you, Stuart. Um, I've forgiven you for your uh, shocking <laughs> of, of Thank you very much. Um, Leeds, it's that's a dirty word where I'm from. Um, <laughs> no, um, it's lovely to be here. Thank you, everyone, for for joining. I'm over in Hull, representing um, East Yorkshire. I'm actually from York originally, but I'm I'm in Hull today. So yeah, it's lovely to to be here, and thank you all for joining wherever you are in the world. Um, great. So yeah, so today we're going to be looking at, at Zoom text. Um, now, I'm sure most of you have heard of it or come across it or experienced it in some capacity. Um, so I do apologise if any of my presentation um, you you know you're already familiar with with the terminology and the features. Um, but um, you know this this is assuming that that, that, that nobody knows anything about Zoom text. So. Um, so yeah, just just uh, to apologise first of all, um, but yeah, as Stuart said, um, I'm, I'm the account manager for the, the North of England and Scotland, um, and for those of you who don't know much about us as a company, um, so we are the UK's leading um, assistive technology supplier, um, and we specialise obviously with people with a visual impairment, but also those with learning difficulties as well. Uh, great. So as a result of that. Um, we are the master distributor for um, a lot of products, um, including um, uh, Zoom Text, and, which is made by a company called Freedom Scientific. Um, now, some of you may know Freedom Scientific. They produce a lot of, of, of different products, um, hardware and software. Um, but they also produce um, JAWS, which is a screen reading piece of software. Um, and they also, as I said, produce Zoom Text. Now, Zoom text comes in three forms. Okay, now today we're just going to be looking at two of those. Um, Zoom text comes um, a Zoom text magnifier, a Zoom text magnifier reader, um, and then Zoom text fusion. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sharing my screen with you all so that you can see the icons. Well, perfect, we're up and running. Great. So here we are. This is my screen. This is me. Um, we've got JAWS here. We've got Zoom Text and we've got Fusion. Um, now JAWS, some of you may or may not know, is an independent screen reader. Okay. Um, so that's, um, you know, specifically for those with no vision um, that need everything on the screen read back to them. Um, Zoom Text Magnifier and Zoom Text Magnifier Reader is this one in the middle. Um, and then we've got Zoom Text Fusion. Now Zoom Text Fusion uh, it's just a combination of, of these two programs um, in one solution. Um, 
Freedom Scientific decided that um, it was a good idea to combine the the ad advanced um, screen reader of JAWS and combine it with the, the magnification software. Um, and that's useful for those possibly with um, an eye condition that maybe deteriorates throughout the day. Um, so in the morning, they can use the, the magnification and if they need it, maybe their eyes are tired in the afternoon, they can then just rely on the, on the screen reader um, of JAWS. So they've combined the two for, for one solution. But just for today, we're gonna to be looking at Zoom Text Magnifier and Zoom Text Magnifier Reader. So let's get started. Okay. Great. So as I said, it comes in three forms. Um, and we're just going to be looking at Zoom Text Magnifier Magnifier Reader. Um, Zoom Text Fusion is a much um, larger and more sort of um, complex piece of software and uh, that would require its own webinar, which I'm sure we, we can do in the future. Um, but to start with, we're just going to focus on the Zoom Text Magnifier. Uh, once it loads for me, control U. Now, there we go, we're getting a little bit of lag. I do apologize. It's a lot of uh, programs running at once here. So, Zoom text activated. A little... Zoom text magnet window. Welcome to Zoom text 2020. Now, Stuart, can you just Sam, can you, I was going to say, can you share your audio? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We, we might be able to hear his speech a little bit better. Zoom text magnifier. Menu open. Menu open. Remote control. That's it. That's brilliant. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm just sharing my my. Uh, Zoom text magnifier forward slash reader. Great. Okay. So here we go. We've got Zoom Text, which is Zoom uh, Text 2020. Let's now start. Voice group Let's box voice. Turn the voice on. Voice disabled. It's the reader element. Um, we're going to focus on the reader in a second. Um, but to start with, we're going to look at the, the magnifier first. Okay. Um, good. Okay. So, yeah. So, in short, um, Zoom Text in general um, it, it enables someone to adjust. The look of their computer um, in order to efficiently navigate uh, the Windows operating system and the applications. Now there used to be a version for Mac, however this, been, this has been discontinued now because Apple, um, they continue to develop their own um, accessibility options. So it's just available for the Windows um, platform. Good. So um, Zoom text does uh, require um, a certain level of usable site um, that, 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 that the person will, will have um, as they'll be using the mouse uh, for the majority or possibly all of the computer navigation. Um, so this is the Zoom text um, magnifier toolbar here. Um, now it's from here that we can adjust the way things are um, we see on our screen. Um, so they, we can adjust how they appear by clicking on certain buttons, um, but also there, there are a series of keystrokes um, associated with each of these individual um, features and tools. Um, now, just as a, as, a, as a sort of quick start guide to begin with, a few of the most obvious tools which we'll be looking at today are obviously magnification. Uh, so for instance, if I hold the caps lock key down and hit the up arrow, that will then obviously magnify magnify the screen and obviously the down arrow will, will zoom zoom out there. Um, we've also got, um, if I zoom back in there, and if I want to quickly zoom back to, to no magnification, I can just hit caps lock and enter. And that will take me straight back to the full screen there. And um, so that's caps lock and enter. Um, we've also got, uh, you, we can turn the enhanced colors on and off. So if I hold, Caps Lock and C. Okay. Oh, sorry, that might be a bit shocking for some of you. Uh, that's what that's done is that's actually uh, that's enhanced the colours on the screen there. I'll just turn that off. Um, now there are just a couple, um, just to give you a taster of, of some of the keystrokes that we're going to be looking at. Um, if keystrokes is a, a new term for any of you, um, it's it's basically just um, a shortcut um, to using the 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 uh, rather than using the toolbar, you can just use a, a series of keys on your keyboard to um to operate these these features okay so those are the sort of things we're going to be looking at today um with the, with the hotkeys we call them zoom text hotkeys 
Good. So the first uh, feature we're going to be looking at is obviously the magnification, um, which I can change, uh, as I just did, up or down, um, by either clicking on the, the buttons here in the, uh, the Zoom Text interface, is what we call the interface here, or as I said, by using the caps lock and up and down arrows. Um, and that, that's obviously a much quicker and easier way of doing it. Now, as I did as well, I can I can quickly turn the magnification off by pressing caps lock and, and enter. There we go. Um, which is a, a another useful one. If if um, if you only need magnification for certain tasks, you may just need that for I don't know for a um, a spreadsheet, for instance. And then once you come out of the spreadsheet, you can return to to zero magnification. Um, grand. So. Um, now with the next button that we've got here, um, we can change the way Zoom Text magnifies. Okay, so we've got a series of, of tools here. Um, now a really useful um, uh, point to make as well is once I you'll see once I hover over each application, a window actually appears underneath it, which which actually gives me the hotkeys for each individual feature. So that's really useful for teachers and and obviously for the students to to learn all of the different uh, hotkeys. Now. If I just click on this down arrow here, now we've got a series of different um, views um, that we can we can use. So at the moment we're on full view, okay. So if I just add a little bit of magnification, and if I click on overlay, and what you'll see now is um, the sort of three quarters of my screen um, doesn't have any magnification, um, but in the bottom right hand corner there's a there's a magnification box there. Um, that might be useful if, if you know, the student has a, a, an eye condition which only affects possibly one eye, um, you know, and um, so they can use this box in the bottom right-hand corner to add a little bit of extra magnification um, whilst the rest of the screen is, 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 is just as normal. Um, we've also got uh, lens view, which is also quite useful, and that sort of as it does what it says on the tin. You've got a, a lens there. This might be useful for... for um, for, for RP, for instance, for retinitis uh, pigmentosa, uh, tunnel vision. Um, this allows you to, to focus in a very central um, uh, point there. And as I said, I can I can magnify even further by pressing caps lock and up and uh, magnify even further just in that central column there, which is, is useful. I'll come back out of that. Um, and I can toggle these views uh, using another hotkey. So if I'm in lens view here, and then I decide that I'd like to actually use um, a different view, if I hold caps lock and Z, that will then toggle. So we're now into, uh, and we've got another lens view here, which is, let's have a look. I misquote the names. There we go. Yes, this one, yeah, this one is obviously line view, as it says. So if I say caps lock and Z, again, that will take me to the next one. This is docking, docked view, so we've got, um, We've got the docked uh, at the bottom of the screen there. We've got the magnification, and then on the top, we've, we've got no magnification. Um, so yeah, this just gives you an idea of the different um, ways you can you can magnify the screen. Um, doesn't just have to be the full screen. You can pick and choose which which sort of areas of the screen you 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 have magnification. Good. Now another. Uh, uh, option in, in the window here is multiple monitors so obviously that, that, that speaks for itself and um, if you do have two monitors um, hooked up you can you can um, customize the settings appropriately now freeze view this is um, possibly you know quite quite useful this enables us to keep a particular area of the screen in view at all times um, so if I um, add some magnification here and if I click enable now what that's done there is you'll see there's this toolbar here. Now, if I was in a, um, a web browser, for instance, so let's go into, let's go into this. Uh, Sam, I'm just interrupting you for a sec. We're just getting a question and I got two actually for people who seem not to be seeing any difference in when you're, when you're changing magnification settings. Okay. And I'm wondering uh, if it may be something to do actually with with the with zoom not capturing the um the zoom text screen properly oh, okay. um, so i think people are i think people are seeing uh 
yeah, I think everybody is saying basically three questions here is people are not seeing any magnification. They're just seeing your screen, but they're not seeing any difference. Right. Okay. And actually, I must say, I have a feeling we came across something like this last year that Zoom wasn't actually capturing the screen. Ah, okay. So, yeah, we have a few people who are not seeing this, unfortunately. Um, so, okay, do we know... Um, is it is it, do we know of any settings that we can adjust to? Um, no, we did come across this before, and I think actually, I think we had to we had to almost do it on another uh, like with with um, with um, a camera pointing to another device. Oh, okay, all right, okay, um, that's actually maybe doable. Um, if everybody's okay with this, just give me a second, and I will have to improvise. Uh, um, a camera that will be focused on the screen. Um, so we just, is that okay, Stuart? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah just, just if everyone can bear with us for a second, we'll... Minutes. Um, as they say in the best, uh, when these things happen in live events, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know it's right. difficult to do that in a virtual event. This is... Um, Serious improvisation here, everyone. So just bear with me. Um, okay. So now. Okay. So what we're going to attempt here. Is may or may not be able to see. That's fine. So if I just, uh, okay, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for one second. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go with, Uh, just a qu uh, question from Penny, and I think everybody may have seen it, but it, it, she's asking, and it's a good point, if people can please send their questions to everybody so that everyone can see the questions. Um, I probably should have actually said that, so thank you, Penny. It's a good good point. <laughs> no it just, just means that people aren't duplicating their questions. No, we just need to get this a little bit higher. We're nearly there. This is a true live event, you know? This is it, Stuart. You'd have thought I'd have been, uh, I'd been used to this. It, it, is, it went out of my mind as well, actually. I know we came up against this last year, and I think this is how we solved it. But I think it is a, it is Zoom trying to be clever, I think, with the screen sharing when we don't want it to be. Now this, um, this may or may not be particularly helpful, but we'll... Give it a whirl. Can't even ask for your assistance here, Stuart. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm useless to you. I should, for the benefit of everybody else, I'm totally blind. So I'm absolutely useless to Sam. But if anyone, if anyone wants to give any visual feedback, uh, uh, it might. Please feel free to type into. The I think it's the questions. blind leading the blind here. So, uh, <laughs> That, that joke had to be dropped in at some point. Right, okay, so now we're going to try this again, everyone. Um, now, can we just have some feedback from, from any, of, any of the attendees that we have left? <laughs> that, um, are we seeing the screen now? Are we seeing the, if I just... Anybody can just give us some feedback about that. Yeah, it's been seen, Sam. Right, I do apologise, guys, if it's, um, you know, this isn't ideal at all. Um, this wasn't something we prepared for at all. Um, so we'll do our best. Um, okay, good, good. Um, 
So we okay to continue, Stuart? Yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. Great. Fantastic. Right. We, I think, believe we got up to uh, freeze view. Yes. So we've looked at the magnification briefly. We've looked at some of the um, overlay enhancements. I'll just quickly recap um, if we weren't seeing any magnification. Um, I talked about the um, magnification levels here. Okay. Now you can do this obviously by the um, Zoom text interface, um, or we can use a series of hotkeys. So I can use caps lock up and caps lock down. This will adjust the, the basic magnification. Um, and if I want to return to no magnification, return just to full screen, I can hit caps lock and enter. And that's useful if you just need magnification for a specific um, feature application within the, so like a, a, um, a spreadsheet, for instance. Um, so notice we've got another comment there, Stuart. Is that another difficult, uh, someone having difficulty or are we okay? Uh just one sec. I didn't see that coming in. Sorry. So I just just wanted to check before I continue. Uh, no, I, th I think we're okay. Yep. Okay. No, we're fine. Good, good, good. Um, grand. Okay, good. Yes. And then we briefly looked at the um, the um how we how we magnify the screen we can choose how we magnify the screen um, by pressing caps lock and z and that gives us an overlay it gives us a lens view a line view or a docked view um, at the bottom of the screen there so that's just a way of us choosing um, how we magnify the screen okay good I'm come out of the magnification there grand now freeze view as I said, this allows us to, to, to keep one particular area of the screen in view at all times, okay? So if I just come on to, uh, okay, I'll just open up a web page here, you can see news is always useful. Great, now if I, uh, some magnification there, um, and then if I go into freeze view uh, and then a new freeze, okay, I can actually draw on the page here. Um, I can draw uh, an area of the screen that I'd like to keep magnified up at all times, okay? So a new freeze. Uh, for instance, it may, it may be the left-hand side of the screen or, or it may be, um, you know, um, a larger part of the screen. Um, now, if I just come out of that, now I can scroll down the page and the center of the uh, of the page there will be magnified at all times, okay? And the rest of the page, you'll see the top here, is, there's no magnification and there's no magnification at the bottom of the screen either, but the center here is still fully magnified. So you can actually draw um, and use the freeze view uh, mode and you can customize that as you wish, okay? So I'm gonna come back out of that again. I'm going to disable the uh, the freeze view. Disable, great, and we're just back to back to normal. Okay, so I'll just there we go. Perfect, great. Now moving on. So we've got um, we've also got um, the overview mode, um, which um, this can be used in the uh, in the full screen and the uh, the docked mode, um, and it sort of does as it as it says on the tin. Really, it gives you a Sorry, open? Sam. We're just getting a query on chat that the early, uh, your screen is only being seen as a, a very small uh, portion of the screen. <clears throat> your uh, your Zoom text. So I think it's quite hard for some people to see. Right. Um, okay. Uh, sure. So it's only seeing right. in a small small frame of the video. Right. Okay. It may have may have maybe I can adjust it again. Just give me, give me a second. Um, this is a real tricky one, guys, because I, I can't. Um, unfortunately, I can't adjust my. Um, uh, okay. Um, just bear with me. Do apologise, everyone. Um, Um, okay. 
So let's come on up. I think um, I wonder if people try to to go into uh, gallery to to view the video as opposed to the screen share because your screen share uh, Sam is showing as a the main part of the screen seems to be showing as the screen share and then there's a small thumbnail which is showing as the video that you have set up uh, w w which shows the magnification oh I see I see I see um, so I wonder if you didn't share your screen for this and just okay. used the all right, let's try that. Yeah, um, just take 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 off screen share. Yeah, I think oh. that might that might work. All right. Yeah, this this may be a little better. Okay, thank you, uh, Stuart. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just. Yeah. I just want to get as much of a screen as possible here, guys. So. I apologize. This isn't ideal. Um, okay. Wait. Okay. Um, there we go. So we'll. So if anyone can give us any any uh, yeah. feedback on the chat. Uh, if you if you if this gets better when we set it up, it would be much appreciated. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's fine. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for your patience. Sorry about that. Um, we'll carry on, um, but please do give us feedback if if we're still struggling and we'll try something different. Um, great. Okay then. So um, where do we get to? Yes, we got to overview mode. So. Um, so if I'm in a Word document, for instance, uh, let me just open this document here. Um, this is showing us a Zoom text keyboard there. Um, now, if I just use uh, Docs, for instance. Okay. Um, and then I I want to, to get an overview of the... Uh, of the screen there I can just hit overview and it will zoom back out give me a quick overview I click again just simply right click and it will take me back to the uh, the zoomed um, um, feature that I was just using um, so that will be overview mode um, very much does what it says on the tin okay so um, I'm just going to Command of that again, full. Um, yeah. Sam? Yes. Could you just review what you did in the Google search with the BBC website? The guys just, people can see it now, but they just wouldn't mind having a quick run, run through that again. Yeah, of course. No problem. Um, sorry, I just. Camera's really not enjoying this at all. Um, not ideal is it anyway okay we'll just sorry Stuart, i'm just fiddling around with the camera just to try and get it a little bit more uh, yeah okay good no problem sam all right great yeah so sorry guys i was looking at the um bbc yeah i went into the bbc news up here and i was just having a look at the freeze view mode so that would allow us to keep a section of the screen magnified um throughout um while the rest of the you know the other parts of the screen um, were uh, had no magnification, for instance. So, if I just go back into the user interface there, um, and I click on New Freeze, and for instance, if I if I want the centre of the screen magnified at all times, um, there we go, and then I just come out of that. Um, you'll notice that the, the center of the screen there is continued to be magnified and the top of the screen is just as normal as is the bottom of the screen. And if I want to add magnification to the rest of the screen, I can do that. But the, the selected area that we've just, we've just created will remain um, as it was. Okay. 
Um, so that, that can be useful if, if you know if you if you do have a, an eye condition that requires um, you know a certain area to be magnified at all times. Uh, now I'm going to to just disable that, uh, disable freeze view, so we can come back to our uh, regular mode there. Perfect. Okay, guys. So so we've looked at freeze view. We've looked at overview mode. Um, and we're now going to look at um, yeah a couple of the the uh, the other tools as well we've got here. Okay, so um, yeah, great. Um, we've got the, uh, the 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 zoom window adjust tool. Um, now this this is basically a way of of just editing some of the other um, modes. So if we're in lens view, for instance. Um, and then if I go into um, zoom window adjust tool, that will then allow me to adjust the size of the lens there. So I can I can customize how big or how small I want the lens to be. Um, so you may want it to be much bigger, like so. I just come out of that, and as you can see, it's it's uh, customized that for me. Okay, so that's the that's the the window adjust tool. It just allows you to uh, adjust the, the size of the lens um, or some of the other the other um, screen views in that mode. Excellent. Um, good. So we've got one more uh, settings option here, um, which is uh, just here. Um, and, and basically this, this just allows you to uh, make very specific adjustments to all of these different settings. Okay. So um, that's useful to know is that, that zoom text can be customized specifically to the individual's eye condition. Um, so, I mean, um, they may need assistance with that when setting up the, the, the software. Um, but our training team, um, that is certainly um, a large part of their job is, 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 is making sure that the, the software is customized uh, and is configurated specifically for the individual's needs. Um, and all of these things can be done in the, in the settings menu there. Great. Are we all good so far, Stuart? No more, um, no more troubles. Nothing else yet, Sam. No. All right. Great. Thank you, everyone, for, for being um, being patient. Good. Now we can move on to the screen enhancements. Now, okay. So we've looked at magnification. We've looked at the the different types of of, of um, um, window views that we can have. Um, now we're, we're moving on to the enhancement tools, which are all just here. Okay. Um, and these, as I said, are known as, as enhancements. Okay, so we can we can customize and enhance um, the color of the screen. Obviously, the pointer you'll see I've got a large uh, green uh, pointer at the moment. Um, but for instance, we can we can change that to a red circle. Um, obviously, that remains as I as I magnify. Okay, um, I'm just going to return that. Um, that obviously will be normal. Um, but I do prefer, I found that a lot of um, people that I uh, demonstrate Zoom text um, um, with, they, they, they do prefer the large green um, pointer there. It's very, very prominent. But again, it's it's individual. Um, yeah, so um, all of these uh, four um, enhancement tools, they all have very specific settings, okay? So you can either have a scheme of uh, a specific scheme um, just normal, um, or you can customize it, as I said, specific. So for instance, the colors there, if I invert the brightness, for instance, um, this may be familiar to, to some people. That is now inverted, obviously, inverted the brightness, uh, the contrast of the screen there. Um, so if I just go back to back to normal there, um, you could have yellow on black, for instance. I know this is very uh, popular with those with, with uh, macular degeneration. Um, obviously, that tends to be a um, sort of a, a an older um, an older person may, may prefer that. Um, but for students, for instance, blue dye is very good for someone with dyslexia as well. So if you've got visual impairment um, or, or just dyslexia, um, you know this may be helpful for studying reading. Um, and then you've got your standard black and whites there. Um, but you can customize all of these things. Um, you can, as I say, customize the pointer. You can even customize the cursor within a, a Word document. So if I just come out of this, go into a, uh, a standard Word document there. 
and you'll see that my pointer there is is enhanced so it's got a blue wedge um, we would call that a blue a blue wedge um, and there's a few other you could have a red frame there um, obviously a bit more prominent so you can customize all of these things okay um, which is is you know it's it's um, it's it's very useful um, to be able to to have specific adjustments for your needs um, fantastic okay so um, we've had a brief look at the enhancements there um, and the focus here is is, is simply just the, uh, the, the well the focus of the of the, um, the feature that you're hovering over okay um, the red rectangle is usually quite popular um, and the last feature here we've got is the navigation um, now the navigation settings um, now this is where you can adjust how zoom text responds to to certain things because zoom text will, will always try um, to keep the active element i.e what you're interested in in view um, and it gives you the option to choose what those interesting things are for example when i when i'm typing i'm interested in where the cursor is okay so um So, ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> now, that's all in caps lock. There we go. That's better. Now, because obviously we use caps lock um, a lot for the for the hotkeys here, um, you do have to be aware that when you're in a Zoom, when you're in a Word document, you have to double tap um, caps lock to toggle between uppercase and lowercase. Um, so that's useful to be aware of. Um, so as I'm typing, we obviously want to focus on the cursor there. Okay. But using the navigation tools, um, we can select um, between you know what we do want to focus on, whether it's the mouse pointer, the text cursor, the menus. You can adjust all of these things in the navigation settings. Okay, so all of these things again, as I say, can be customized. Fantastic. Okay, so um, good. So let's move on then. So we can now move on to the um, a couple of other features. Um, so there are also features built into Zoom Text specific to certain applications. Okay, now these, as I say, are just specifically for certain applications. So there is a feature called the Smart Invert feature, uh, and this is for internet browsers. At the moment, it's just Internet Explorer 11, and it's Google Chrome. Okay, um, and what this does is. Um, when the, uh, the the brightness or the color has been inverted, um, sometimes this can be an issue for for images or pictures within an internet browser. Um, so what that does is it actually keeps the um, the image or the the picture there um, tr as true color. Okay. Um, sadly, at the moment, my machine is not allowing me to do that. Um, Google Chrome's not been playing nicely, but this just gives you an idea. If you can see this on the screen so we've inverted the colors um, of everything on the screen um, bar the images there okay um, so that's that's the smart um, invert feature which allows you to to keep the uh, images in a web browser at true color whilst everything else is inverted okay um, great so finally, with the magnifier feature, we have the uh, we have the tools tab here. Okay. Um, now in the tools tab, we have the finder. Uh, now the finder, this this is useful as it is. It puts the results. Um, it if you want to find results specifically on a web page in a document, um, we can do this very quickly and very easily by using the finder feature. Um, so for example, if I was in a um, uh, an internet browser if I just click caps lock with control and F okay this would then bring up the zoom text finder and then I can type a word in here for instance if I knew that I was looking for um, an obvious one would be uh, coronavirus um, and hit enter okay now it's given me all of the, the the times that coronavirus is is used on this page okay and then it would take me specifically to that area of the page okay and um, so that's that's one of the 
the tools that we can use um, is, is the finder. Um, we've got the, uh, the Zoomdex camera here. Um, now this, uh, when it's combined with, 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 uh, with a camera, um, an external camera, Zoomtex can provide a video magnifier function. Okay, so you can actually um, you know, connect a camera to the software and you can then set up a, uh, an external magnification camera, which is quite useful. And then we've got the record button here um, and the background reader, which we're going to look at um, a little bit later on. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so that is the basics uh, of, 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 mag of ZoomTech Magnifier. We'll have a quick pause for questions, and then I'll move on to uh, Magnifier Reader. Okay. Okay, thank you, Sam. Uh, really interesting stuff there. If anybody has any questions, you can either type in the chat window, or you can type in the question and answer uh, section of the, uh, of, the, of the webinar screen. Um, or if you want to actually speak, just even type something in the chat to let us know that you'd like to, you'd like your voice heard. Uh, otherwise, we'll just move on. I think to uh, yeah. to, to to the the reader. If everyone's happy to do that, yeah. Yep. All right, great. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that everyone's sticking around as well, uh, which is it's it's encouraging. Thank you, everyone, for uh, staying. We've still got. Most of you with us. Yeah, we have a lot of people, yeah. Which is good. Uh, fantastic, great. Okay, good. So we can move on now. And I'm, I'm conscious of time, so we'll, 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 we'll be swift. Um, good. So we've looked at ZoomTex Magnifier, all of the features with ZoomTex Magnifier. And now we're going to move on to Reader. Um, so uh, ZoomTex Magnifier and Reader, uh, now this has been designed for people who would benefit from changing things visually, but at the same time, um, using some audio support for for the typing and for navigating around around uh, the computer. So we still have the magnifier tab, um, but now obviously we have the, the reader tab here. Um, great, good. So um, this is where we can build um, on the idea of speech feedback um, or, or or having text read back to you. Um, and basically here we, we can change the speech settings for the, the keyboard feedback, the mouse feedback, and also the verbosity. So how much information we want to be read back to us. Okay. And we're going to briefly look at all of these things and then a few other added tools as well. Okay. Great. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, yeah, let's look at the first feature then. Let's 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 um, dive straight in. So we've got the uh, the keyboard uh, feature here now. I'm just going to enable the voice, voice first. Enabled. Voice. No. Window volume control. Volume. Okay. Volume. Windows at T keyboard. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, and um, Zoom text 2021. Windows Zoom text magnifier forward slash reader. Voice. Add forward slash voice. Button for access key press or navigation group box yes. navigation button normal for access key scheme check one blue two green circle for access cursor button for windows at T keyboard. Great. Now we can press control um, to um, to stop the reader from talking, which is a useful keystroke. Okay. <laughs> control will will um, yeah will will shut her up or shut him up, um, which is useful. Good. So. Uh, Windows own text magnifier forward slash re great. So. voice group box voice e key, no echo for access key press in we've got the uh, the keyboard echo here so we can choose to have no echo we keys can choose for access to, key press keyboard no echo for access key the press keys, in. the words or keys and words keyboard. so Windows at T keyboard pretty self explanatory hello oh. Mike hello my name is Okay, so we've got that to Windows echo. Windows home text mag words, words key, keyboard echo keys and words Windows might be a little bit too much. Word H E L L O hello N N N E N I S S S N. But you know, for somebody that's 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 um, Windows home text magnifier less advanced with the typing skills, keyboard, that that may be helpful. Keyboard okay. button for access. Hello, my name is Sam. Great. Um, 
now we've got the, the mouse um, for access mouse read no echo for access mouse echo disabled windows at t keyboard word now um with the uh just before sorry i move on to the mouse with the keyboard echo as well we can use the hotkey key there to toggle between what we want to be um the audio feedback so if i hit caps lock alt and k keyboard echo disabled Keyboard echo enabled for keys. Keyboard echo enabled for words. Good. So it will it will then toggle between. That's caps lock, alt, and K. And that just toggles between the speech feedback for the keyboard there. Um, and then for the mouse, it will be caps lock, alt, and M. And that will toggle between the, the various modes. We've got no echo, obviously. So disable the mouse um, echo completely. We've got instant echo, which this enables the, the, um, the mouse, that the, the words are spoken immediately when the mouse pointer is moved over them. So if I go uh, caps lock alt and M. Mouse echo set to instant mode. Okay. Now that's instant. So if I just hover Hello, over. my name is Sam. Okay. So I've just hovered over. Hello, my name is Sam. Yeah, there we go. And it's instantly uh, echoing what, what what's uh, below the beneath the the uh, the cursor there, the pointer. Um and you as again it's same as the keyboard, you can toggle between these these uh, Windows own text hello my name these features no echo keyboard mouse no mouse echo disabled okay um great um and then we've got the verbosity there which as I said this allows you to adjust the amount of information spoken about the program controls um when when they become active so um for instance applications or document windows menus etc um you you can decide. Um, how much information you want Verbo to be. Med for access, medium or high for access key press. Verb medium um, verb Windows at T keyboard word. And again, you can you can toggle between those by pressing caps lock alt and B. Um, and this will toggle between um, low, medium or high verbosity. Okay. Um, perfect. So that's the we've got the mouse, we've got the keyboard. Windows and text um, magnifier for slash reader. Verbosity. Button now for before we look at the app reader, which is a really a useful feature. Tip verbosity. Um, I want to look at the zones tool first. Tool okay. tip zones, caps lock and control and Z. So basically what, before I demonstrate zones, um, what this will uh, allow us to do is, um, it will allow us to quickly navigate to different areas of a program, for example, a spreadsheet or a web page, where it might be useful to have a particular area um, that you can jump to, and then if you want, you can have it read to you. Um, maybe because the small, the text is smaller in that area of the, the, the screen than the rest of the window. Um, so, so what that requires us to do is it requires us to to create um, some reading zones on a particular page. So if I go to, um, yeah, we can use this again. Um, so if I press uh, caps lock, um, alt and C. Create zone. Okay. This would allow me to create a zone on this particular page, okay. Window zone text magnified dialog box reading zones. Window Cortana, search box, zone name, edit box for access key press, or plus O. Now it's asking us to name this particular zone, so I'm just gonna- BBC zone name, here, BBC news. Um, headlines, okay. Then it, there's all these specific feature um, settings that you can alter where you want it positioned, and whether you want it to be spoken, just displayed or displayed and spoken. Um, and then if I hit OK. OK, Echo Group Box Verbosity, button for access key press. So now every time that I come to the BBC News web page and I know that I've, I've created a zone for this page, if I just hit Caps Lock Control, uh, sorry, Caps Lock Alt and 2. Vaccine found scientists say significant measures should stay for some time with the UK lockdown set to continue. Okay. Seven minutes ago from UK one thousand five. So you can you can number these zones. You can obviously customize the name of these zones. Um, and as I said, it's specific to this this feature, this web page, or a spreadsheet, or a document. Every time you visit, you've customized the zones there. You can just press caps lock, uh, alt, and whatever number that zone is, and it will have it read aloud to you, um, which can be quite quite useful. Um, Great. So that's zones. And now I want to move on to, to app reader. Okay. Now this Windows own text magnifier forward slash reader. 
this is a really, really useful feature for reading Word documents, web pages, you know, any, any lengthy um, piece of text. Um, the app reader is, 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 is fantastic. Um, so you've got a, um, so this is, is what, what's called a pro productivity tool that um, it automatically reads documents and web pages. As I said, it can read emails um, while you visually follow along um, or you can relax your eyes. You can just sit back and, and have it read out loud to you. Um, now it'll automatically read the text from beginning to end um, and you can skim forwards and backwards through the text or just read specific areas of the text um, that, that, that you select by clicking and dragging the mouse. Um, so you've got a few options with App Reader, okay? So you've got the App View, you've got Text View, or you've just got Speak It View. And Speak It, we'll start with, is a really quick and simple, easy way. If a student, for instance, is reading a, a piece of text and they don't understand a certain word or they mishear it and they just want to, to have it read aloud again, if I hit Caps Lock Alt and S. App Reader, Speak It Tool. Now it's just said App Reader, Speak It Tool, okay? So if I just click on social, 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 so I can just click on a specific word and it will have it read back aloud um, for me. Distancing. Distancing. And it will it will be the same three running windows. in any application that you're in. So if I just press escape, it will come out of that. Okay, and that's useful in any any word document. It's called the Speak It tool. Um, but we've also got the um, We've got the app view uh, mode for, for app reader as well. So if I hit caps lock, alt and A. Now it's just, yes, yeah, processing a little bit slower on this page because uh, it's a little bit, yes, yeah, it's a little bit slow. So I'm Window gonna, Microsoft Edge. Let me go back. Tool tip HTTP colon double forward slash www.siteandsound.co.uk forward slash zoom text keyboard dot HTML. Okay. So for some reason. Window search results for Windows at T keyboard word. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm just going to. Window start my window micro search or enter web address. Edit box. So if I hit caps lock alt and A again. Yes. Very slow today, <laughs> so we'll try it uh, in a uh, Word document. Um, Windows Zoom Text Quick Start Guide Compatibility Mode Word. Just thinking about it. Site. Okay. okay, it's been very slow. I do apologise, um, but we'll move on to the. Um, We'll, we'll move on to the, the text view mode, um, which is actually more beneficial. Um, so if I hit caps lock, alt and T. Sight and sound technology, zoom text magnifier and reader quick start guide technical support. Info at sightandsound.co.uk or 016. So it's now obviously, it's moved all of the text on this particular, Beginning of document. This particular page into the text reader um, application screen. Okay, and Play now button. from here, Play button. I can press play and pause. I can increase the magnification. Zoom level spin box 22. The speed of the voice. Tick a button. Settings. But also, um, there are, there's very, there's menu specific. Dialog box um, and reader settings. Font combo box calibre. There's feature specific menus as well. So I can, I can change the color of the font. Yellow text combo box, black, red, blue. Background combo, okay. Window zoom text quick okay. start guide. Compatible play sight and sound technology zoom text magnifier and reader quick start guide technical support info at sight and sound. Yes, this is really useful. Um, my button in a in a word document and in a in a web browser. I do apologise, my my computer has been very slow with the web browser today. Um, but you can press caps lock alt and T, um, and this will launch the the app reader text view, and it will allow you to 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 have the text read aloud very very quickly. Um, and you can obviously play, play button. customize button. the the viewing as well, the colors, the contrast, the speed, uh, the magnification, etc. 
Sam, we had a, a query just about, um, you mentioned voice rate, I think, already just there a second ago, but in relation to male and female voices, there are a range of voices available? Yeah, so if we um, just go back into the... Windows Zoom text magnifier forward User slash reader. Interface. Echo group box for yeah. voice settings for voice. Button for access dialog box voice settings. Microsoft George, Microsoft Hazel, British. Voice combo box, Microsoft Hazel, British. Windows Zoom text magnifier forward slash reader. Okay, yeah, so you can customize the, 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 the sex, the, uh, the accent, the obviously... Um, Tool, settings for voice. Dialogue English. Also, the language Tur Arabic as well. List item. Um, language combo box English. And you can download further voices and accents if they're not pre pre stored there as well. Is that okay, Stuart? That's great, Sam. Yeah, that's the only great. question I have. Great, great. We're we 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 we're, we're nearly there, guys. Um, I'm, I'm I've got my eye on the clock, so um, great. So that's um sort of briefly the the app. The app reader um, is so I can't really. Windows Zoom text magnifier for. Oh, Hazel's, uh, she's keen. Um, we, uh, I can't really stress enough how useful the app reader is. It's fantastic, uh, very quick and accessible way to, to have the text read to you. Um, um, let me just try this one more time on this. Windows Zoom sight and sound technology. Now in the in the Word document here, the um, where the cursor is. Um, the, 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 the single, only this single line will be read back to me once I place the cursor there. Zoom text magnifier and read a quick start guide. Okay, so obviously if I wanted the whole page read to me. Um, Zoom text magnifier and read a quick start guide. Technical support, info at sight and sound. So caps lock alt and R to read, um, that would then have the whole page read to me um, as I see it on the screen, um, but it would place the, the 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 red the red box around the word, so I could follow it, and I could zoom in at the same time. Okay, uh, I'll just try that again. It's been very slow. Um... Sight and sound technology. Sight and sound technology. Zoom text magnifier and read a quick start guide. Technical support, info at sightandsound.co.uk or 01604798070 option three. Okay, so that, that's really useful as well to, to, to say that one. I wasn't um, using the mouse or any of the keys there. The, the, the screen was actually moving with the, uh, with the speech. So um, if you wanted to follow the text as well as have it um, read to you, you can just sit back and just... Um, have the text read to you and you can follow it um, at the required magnification level. Um, that's really useful. Um, excellent. So we've looked at uh, reading zones. Um, yeah, and then uh, very quickly, we'll just look at the, um, the Windows other, Zoom text magnify the other tools that we've got uh, within the reader. Um, features here. So we've looked at the app reader, we've looked at zones. Find a group box finder. And I just want to have a quick look at the background reader. Tool, tool this, tip record. Now this is quite useful. Basically the background reader it allows you to copy and listen to documents or web pages or emails or any text while you simultaneously perform other tasks. So you can simply you copy um, the text that you want to listen to um, into the background reader um, and then while the text is being read aloud, you, you're free to type notes, to browse the web, or do any other tasks that you, you need to do on your computer. Now, to launch the background reader, um, so I'm in, I'm in a, um, a Word document here. If I just hit uh, caps lock, control, and B. And hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Back, play, but re restart, button for access key, window zoom, window zoom. Play button for access. Okay, now what that's done is it's launched the Zoom Text Background Reader toolbar there, which is just here. Previous and button got, for access key press Alt Window Cortana. So we. And I've got some options, obviously capture, play, restart, previous, and next. So all I need to do now is if I just highlight this text here and press capture. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. Background Reader, end of t Window Microsoft Edge. 
Search or enter web address, edit box. Background reader, end of text. Previous, oh. button for access, capture. Oops. Window Microsoft Edge. Search or enter web ad. Apologies, everyone. Uh, it's not playing Window Zoom. nicely today. Let's try that again. Windows, Window Microsoft Edge. Window Zoom text. Uppercase letters. So if I just uh, press capture. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Back, pre play button for access, background reader, capture, play, capture. Window zoom text quick step. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us. Restart, pre net. Thank you for background reader, pre re capture, but okay, do play apologize. button it's, for access, capture. It's, uh, it's not playing nicely today. Um, but how how the, this feature, as I said, as I mentioned, how this works is if you simply highlight the text, um, you then capture, press capture button for access, window zoom text quick start guide, and it will have it read aloud to you as you then um, navigate your way around the computer to do any of the tasks that you need to do. Okay, um, so that was uh, the background reader. Caps lock control and B um, would launch the background reader. Uh, caps lock control uh, B and T would launch the background reader toolbar. Okay. Um, and then Windows Zoom preview. Windows Windows right. Zoom text mag and tool then, tip background reader. Very, caps. very quickly we've just got the recorder button here. Now this um, this would be a um, as it says it, it, it would allow you to record um, any of the audio files um, from the background reader. So you can actually record the audio files um, and then export them and do what you need to do with them. Um, and that, guys, uh, in a nutshell, is Zoom Text Magnifier and Zoom Text Magnifier Reader. Now, very quickly, Tool tip minimize. before we take any questions, screen enhancement voice group box for I just want voice to, disabled. to mention the uh, Zoom Text keyboard. Now, a useful addition to the um, to the Zoom Text software is the Zoom Text keyboard. Um, it comes in two two different forms. You've got the black and white keys, uh, sorry, the white key with the black uh, background there, or you've got the yellow keys with the the black the black writing. Um, and it's a useful um, pairing of the, the the keyboard and the software. It just gives you that extra magnification of the of the keys. Um, they can be bought separately uh, individually. Um, you don't need the software to use the keyboard. Um, but it's just useful to know that it exists. Thank you, Stuart. We can take any questions now. Thank you very much, Sam. That was really great. And you really truly had to deal with a live scenario. So well done. Really great presentation. Uh, just in relation to um, the recorder, the Zoom text recorder, we were working with a student here a couple of weeks ago who was studying uh, for tax exams. So it's not pleasant stuff. And she had a lot of stuff to read and she didn't really want to be sitting in front of the computer. And she was using the recorder to create audio files that she was putting on her phone and then reading it while she was on her way to college. So a really nice use of the Zoom text recorder. No uh, I don't see anything else on the chat and I don't see anything else on questions. If anyone else has anything that they would like to ask, you're welcome to type it. Or if you want to speak, just type us a message. Um, yeah. As I say, we're, we're more than happy to, um, if anyone has follow up afterwards, to please get in touch with Sight and Sound. And you find us on the web at sightandsound.co.uk. Yeah, and thank you everyone for being uh, being patient and uh, <laughs> apologies for that. Yeah, these these are live events and we're living in extraordinary times. So uh, sometimes we have to uh, cost of the oh yeah cost of Zoom text Sam. That's a good question. Yeah, just coming on chat. Useful. So we've got um let me just uh, I had the, the the website here. So obviously you've got a few different options with the, with the pricing. Um, you've obviously got um a home user license. Um. You've got a, a professional uh, license as well, obviously at, at work or um, uh, in another professional scenario. Um, the, the pricing does vary. Um, so just bear with me while I... And actually, while you're, while you're looking those up, Sam, I'll just mention the fact that we do have our home user we, they, they call them summer, we call them summer specials. We're doing them a bit earlier this year, yes. program in place. So if you have students, um, end users who might have an old license lying around somewhere who want to upgrade it, 
or who want to buy a new version of Zoom Text or Zoom Text Mag Reader, it's a great time to do it. And yeah, I speak absolutely. Euro, so I won't attempt to give you the sterling price. <laughs> no, the, the, it's, yeah, Stuart is right. At the moment, we've got huge discounts on our, uh, a lot of our products, but especially our software. Um, so at the moment, um, we've got a, a Magnifier Reader, for instance, is, is, is £95 excluding VAT. Um, and that is a huge, huge discount. Um, it's usually, uh, you know, hundreds, hundreds of pounds. Um, so Mag, Mag Merida at the moment is 95. Um, you can just buy a magnifier, as I said, on its own. Um, I don't think that's part of our offers at the moment, though. Um, I think it's just Mag Reader. Um, yeah, I think it's Mag Reader as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Let me just try and find a question for that. Is there any other questions, Stuart, while we're here? Uh, nothing else. Uh, no. So, yeah, Magnifier um, is 450 quid, um, excluding VAT. Um, that's 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 um, the usual price. A Mag Reader is usually 575, excluding VAT. But at the minute, it's £95. Pounds. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're huge reductions. And also, of course, you can buy your what we call software assurance or software maintenance agreements, which means that if you buy that at the time you buy the package um, for the extra cost and it's, it's not significant, then you'll get the next two upgrades free. So you keep, you're making sure that you're keeping your assistive technology up to date, which given that we're living in an era of huge software updates and cloud services and things updating automatically, whether we want them to update to or, or, or not in many cases, <laughs> I think that's really important. Definitely, yeah. It's uh, the software maintenance agreement um, is is what is what Stuart mentioned in there, and that's that's that will give you the next two paid for upgrades. Um, so if you bought a license in twenty twenty, you get twenty twenty one and twenty two, um, and we've got a, a, a discount on that as well at the moment. So it's seventy pounds for the software maintenance agreement, um, which is you know it's a steal. Okay, so listen, thank you very much to Sam. Thanks everybody for coming along. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all next week for a session on JAWS. Sam uh, made reference to JAWS earlier on, which is the screen reader. And we're going to be exploring some of the features of JAWS that may be of particular use uh, for students in school. So until then, have a great week. Stay safe and stay well and stay at home, as they say. And uh, we look forward to talking to you soon. Great. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks, everyone.